In this version, I have added a twist assembly and four electromagnets that I'm going to use for force feedback. Most of this is just really roughing out the design. I probably will change a lot of these things, especially the twist assembly. Right now, I think it's just a little overkill, and it's just not a very optimized design. For the four electromagnets, I'm just getting uh, them roughed out right now. There's no real calculations of how strong they need to be and what size and shape and whatnot. I think having them uh, squished flat makes a lot of sense just because of the size constraints, and I don't really think it's going to change the electromagnetic field too much. Due to the shape of the twist cam assembly, I was finding that there was a lot of intersection with that assembly and the green side parts. So for now I've rounded them out. Uh, they're still kind of a little too close, so I'll probably have to change that a little bit and round them out further. Uh, maybe change the design a little bit. So where I'll attach the grip is where these two bearings, there's a big one on the bottom, a small one on the top, they're gonna like wedge into the upper assembly. I think that's gonna work, but I have no idea how I'm gonna route the cables from the grip down to the base, and there's no place for the Hall effect sensor for the twist. So this is how the design looks for now, but there'll be many more changes to come.